How's it going YouTube? This is Perko Twada here bringing you episode 8 of my Football Manager 2014 Liverpool career. As you'll see here, we're just going through the uh, squad for the upcoming Premier League season. We're coming towards the end of our pre-season. Uh, as you see, there's no real major uh, shocks here in who's been selected in the squad. The only real addition uh, has been Victor Fisher. Um, and he's under 21, so it doesn't disrupt things whatsoever. So I thought I'd take this opportunity, guys, just to let you know uh, about some upcoming changes to the Football Manager series. I'm going to switch from the extended highlights 3D match to the key highlights 2D match in upcoming episodes. Uh, it won't be in the next one, probably the episode afterwards. And I want you guys just to let me know now, leave a comment there uh, right now, what do you think? I think it's a bit personally a bit drawn out one episode one game i think it's a bit too much certainly in pre-season and i'd like to shake it up a little bit so we're heading into selecting the squad numbers for this upcoming season uh won't be making any changes the only real question is what number are we going to give victor fisher and i think we're going to go with the the number 11 that makes sense Our preseason has been a bit up and down so far, guys. Uh, some good performances, some pretty shocking ones. Notably, I think either three or four nil home defeat to Borussia Dortmund, which uh, was a little bit hard to take. In, in all honesty, we're just having a look over one of our summer sign signings here, Mario Pujolis. He's a bit of a youngster. He's not getting a squad number just yet, as I don't think he's really going to feature that much in the team. So here we are, guys. Away to Juve Stabia. I think we have two, possibly three more preseason games to go. So this is it, more or less a full strength side out there. Oh no, sorry, it's a second string side. Uh, Torre, Sacco, Connor Randall making a, an appearance. Pugilese coming in for his first game. Ali Sissoko's in there. Victor Fisher, Fisher, along with Victor Moses and Sammy Diesel up front. So this could be an interesting game and we kick off. As I say guys, the 3D match engine is quite nice to look at, but it does cause a little bit of lag with my computer. So, like I say, I'm looking for you guys to let me know. We can always switch to 3D view and key highlights there. I'd like to get a bit of feedback from you guys, really. And we see Moses crossed it in. And it's met there at the near post, I think by Fisher, but it's put wide. And Stabby have the free kick. Also, any Juve Stabia fans out there, please inform me, how do you correctly pronounce the name of this club? Stabia just sounds sounds like a joke to me. Uh, it sounds like I'm going to stab you. <laughs> so that can't be right. And uh, here we are putting the pressure on. Yesel gets free, plays it out to Moses on the left. Uh, he puts in a, well, a decent cross, as it turns out. Or was it a shot? But it goes out for a corner anyway. And it's whipped in and taken easily by the goalkeeper. Eleven minutes in now. We have a throw in on the right. We see Moses hugging the touchline. Gets a ball across L Lucas and it's cleared out. And here comes Sabia now on the counter attack. Oh, they lose out. Well won by Pugliese there in the middle. Back to Sogo Pugliese again, and back to the back line. Goes out to uh, Connor Randall on the right. Lucas to Pugliese, out to Victor Moses. There's Coutinho. Sissoko whips the ball across. Ooh, and it's met there by the goalkeeper, has to touch it over. Here's the resulting corner now, whipped in, and cleared out again. So as I said, guys, we've been playing with a, a tactic lately that... Um, Oh, here we go, shot from Lucas Lavia, surely not flying in, not from that distance, not with Lucas, well saved, hate the lag. Fisher with the corner, again Moses, plays it back out to Fisher, it's bouncing around the box, a save, great save from the goalkeeper, it's there for another corner, nice period of pressure here. Don't know if we can hear my pets playing in the background. Apologies about that. There's only so much I can really do to control animals. It's so like I was saying, guys. I've developed a tactic to uh, mirror Brendan Rodgers' 4-3-3 uh, system. 
it does leave uh, we create an awful lot of chances we haven't been tucking away many so far but uh, it does leave us a little bit exposed on the counter attack oh and there's a shot from Moses goes flying off the bar and he seems to have a knock there at the moment so we're going to make a quick sub on the 20th minute don't want to take any chances so let's see Moses is coming off who's going to replace him Iago Aspas is probably the uh, most obvious solution. But now we're going to go with Raheem Sterling by the looks of things. He's going to play on that. No, no, in fact, we're going to change that. Ah, yes, we're going to bring on... Uh, we're going to bring on Iago Aspas like I originally thought. It makes sense. The lad hasn't had much games to go with so far. Again, he's, he's probably most naturally a striker, but he's not going to get in there ahead of Suarez and Sturridge. It's just what, exactly what happened last season while he's back out and loan at Seville. And a quick look at the stats scene as we're 20 minutes in. So we have four shots, two on target, 72% possession. This is what I'm talking about. We do dominate games with this tactic but uh, we, we really don't score enough and I'm hoping that's down to pre-season and the fact that maybe uh, the team aren't used to it just yet and hopefully we'll become more uh, clinical as time passes but anyway we're building an attack down the right here you see Aspas gets clean oh yes -o! can only fire it straight at the goalkeeper the man who's bound to go on loan I think to Leeds if I remember correctly and here's a corner in the 28th minute Surely one of these has to go in eventually. And Sacco puts it wide. And it's out for a goal kick. And Pugely is now in the middle. He's actually had a pretty decent preseason debut for an underage player. And here he is on the ball again. To be fair, he's not being pressured much. So he hasn't really uh, been forced into any mistakes. Oh, and here we go, Aspas. Oh, he t I thought he'd taken a touch around the keeper there, creating an angle, but he was on his weak right foot. Half an hour in, and here comes Stevia. Through the middle. Working it out to the left. Ah, nicely won there. And here comes the counter-attack with Fisher. To Sissoko, back to Fisher. Fisher again, loses out, but wins it back. Coutinho, back to Pugilese. To Lucas. Out wide. And there's Aspas. Whips it across. Yesel. Doesn't get a good strike on it. And it's cleared away. 32 minutes now gone. Come rapidly approaching half-time here. Still haven't had a breakthrough. And that's it. That's half time. Total domination from this Liverpool team. But no penetration so far. Can't blame a whole lot really on the uh, forced substitution of Victor Moses. To be perfectly honest, I would much rather buy my own player. But we're stuck with Moses for this season on loan. I'm trying to fire the team up here unsuccessfully with a half-time half, a half team talk. We're going to have to go individual here and tell them that uh, there's more to come from the lot of them, really. An awful lot of listening keenly and seems in deep thought a lot of the time. I don't know, guys. What do you think about team talks? Leave a comment now. To be perfectly honest, I can't really get my head around them all that well. They seem to have changed it up this season, for, or, or in fact last season as well. Um, and I haven't quite got the hang of it yet. I've found Suarez particularly difficult to deal with in team talks. He seems to just react ne negatively to whatever I have to say to him, regardless of whether it's positive, putting pressure on him, or taking pressure off him. <laughs> he just seems to dislike me. And that kind of worries me going forward with this Liverpool team. But anyway, here's a corner from Aspas. And that, that's not much better than his, his real-life crossing by the look of it. Yes, oh, oh off the crossbar.
And again, tons of chances here, guys, but just no goals. Is this down to, to my tactic now? Are we not shooting enough? Are we shooting too often? Do we just not have the right personnel playing? Oh, and then... Oh, surely, surely that had to go in. Ah, Howard puts that wide there from about... You know, from inside the box. Free shot on goal. And whenever here we are now in the 60 minute, and now we're gone. And it's probably a time to have a look at the stats yet again. And Randall to Aspas. Back to Randall. Oh, and that's a poor, poor pass. Sixty-nine minutes gone, still no breakthrough. Very, very frustrating. And here we are on the counter-attack now with Fisher coming down the left to Sissoko. Sissoko heads for the byline. Gets around his man, plays in Fisher. Fisher to Yesel. That's a good save from the keeper. It's Aspas on the edge of the area. Back to Pujolese. And here's Sissoko. Can he beat his man once again and get a cross in? No, he can't, but he plays back to Fisher. Yesel. Again, Yesel just can't get a shot on target to save his life here that isn't straight at the goalkeeper. And this is why that man is going on loan and not staying as a backup third striker. And Fisher to Sissoko. Back to Fisher. Fisher heads for the byline. Whips it in. That's it. Tipped over from the goalkeeper. Here's the resulting corner from Fisher. And it's in the back of the net from Sacco, I think. Yeah, it's Sacco at the near post. Beats the goalkeeper. Got major lag here. Here's the cross now. We'll see it again. Oh, we've skipped it. Okay. Uh, Fisher with a nice near post cross. The Sacco, and it's finished nicely. 82nd minute here. We're still in the attacking. Mines. Oh, good save from Mignolet. Comes back off the post. Sorry, Brad Jones. Sissoko takes the ball out. We're still playing attacking in the 82nd minute. It is preseason after all. And here's Yesel now in the box. He's offside. There's a free kick. And I think that was Yesel again sending it over. Now we make the change. Not before Stabby can launch a counter attack here by the look of it. Should be more pressure than that in the middle of the park, in my opinion. The way we're set up. But here we go, we're being torn apart here by Stabia. And that's gone sailing over the crossbar. No real threat there to Brad Jones' goal. And here comes the tactical change at last. So now we're trying to control the game. There we are, that's got to be the goal from Yes, so surely. Surely Yesel has to put one away at some stage. 87 minute now. Here's Yesel again, plays in Coutinho. Oh, Fisher's away. Oh, he beats two men there and puts it wide. So many hopes for this 19 year old. Signed from Ajax. Lacks a bit of paces, which is why I'm kind of considering playing him in central midfield as opposed to the wing. But definitely one for the future. And Sissoko to Pugilese to Lucas. Forward to Coutinho. Here's Lucas again. Back to Pugilese to Aspas. Lucas. And that's it. It's all over. It's a 1-0 win, despite the absolute domination. And this is another example of what I'm talking about, about a lack of clinicalness up front, clinicality, clinicalness, whatever it is. I see the team talk here now and let the lads know that uh, they probably could have done a bit better there now in all fairness. But we're going to go for the easy option here and try and keep everybody happy, keep morale up. See that 16 shots, 7 on target, 1 goal, 62% possession. It's a bit depressing when you think of it in those terms. But anyway, guys, if you've enjoyed this episode, be sure to tune into the next one. Leave a like, subscribe. I've been Perko Twitter. You guys are amazing. Thanks very much for watching.